Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question. Maybe this is not interview question, but it will really enhance your knowledge in function calling. Okay, so this question is, what is RVO and NRVO in C++? It stands for return value optimization and the name return value optimization. So we'll see there what it is. So if this is the simple code here actually, and this is my main function, I'm calling that some function here, and I'm returning some base from there, and I am assigning into this and uh, these are the constructors so we'll see how many times some constructor is being called for to achieve this okay so this is the whole topic here so as you can see constructor of base is called copy constructor of base is called and another copy constructor of base is called so here first you call this function you reached here you created this object so this default constructor is called okay now you are returning from here so in that case you have to create another temporary object in that case so so then this copy constructor will be called here and now you are copying that object here okay so in that case also we need copy constructor so this is what we wanted to see no 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 my friends i have used this flag here if we will not use this flag which i will tell you what is that flag here and then we will run then only constructor of base is called this is where the return value optimization comes okay what do you think why it should call three time constructor this is just simple one object right you are just simply returning this object into this object then can't we just optimize it so that we don't have to copy here and there here and there to just finally copy that object into this can't we just create that object on this memory itself so this is something little bit complicated you just understand something this function is being called but it is being called with this memory hidden inside of this function and this base is constructed on that memory which is passed from here okay and now no need to return and all these things because you have constructed base on this memory only so that's why only one time constructor of base is called if you see here and why this was called three time i have just used this f no allied constructors flag here which was disabling this feature in c++ and what is that feature it avoids unnecessary call to the constructor okay but sometime we want unnecessary call so that we can trace that is there any bug or something in our code or if you created some library is there any problem in that library so to check that we enable this with this flag here okay you remember this flag so you are just saying that no allied means you you just don't skip the constructor you call all the constructor whatever comes along okay and what is that named return value optimization here if you notice you are returning a temporary base let's call this something like this and you are returning this b here not the base okay so in that case also if you will see here i'll just simply compile and check it is calling default constructor only okay so the only difference is this return value has name b that's why it's called name return value optimization return value optimization and non return value optimization now you know how function returns the value right but it's really very good thing to know so thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe so that you will get the notification for future coming videos like this bye bye